Hi, today is another beautiful start to our week. What gorgeous weather we are so lucky to be having. We are going to have a go at collecting some elder today to make a spud pop gun. So let's see what we need. This is the elder tree. You can see it has got several leaflets on one leaf. And um, we've used it before. It has got a spotty sort of bark here. Um, and you'll see the beautiful elder flowers on it at the moment. This is quite a young tree, so it doesn't have many flowers on. Um, you will need a section of older bark that's brown, like this sort of spotty one. Um, it needs to be reasonably wide, like this here. And you want the pith, so if I show you this piece that I've cut, um, needs to be relatively small and it to have quite a thick outer bark. So we're back at the house now and we've got our things ready for our activity. We have got a tent peg, a thin stick, our piece of elder here, you can see the amount of pith inside it, some potatoes, our secateurs and our knife for whittling. Okay, off we go. This is my piece of elder. If you have a look, this section is called a node section. You can see a ring around it. In between the rings on the branches where you see a year's growth. And this part here is where a branch would have come out. So from there, I'm gonna take my tent peg and I want to cut my piece of elder the length of my tent peg. So I'm gonna take my secateurs, which is roughly there, and I'm gonna cut that section off. Next, I'm going to cut off this node section and I'm going to hold on to it because this is going to become the handle of my plunger. So I'm just going to cut off that section there. Next, use a skewer or a tent peg to push out the pith. You need to keep on pushing, cleaning it out so it's a really clear chamber. So make sure you keep going until you get all of that pith out. So take your thin, thinner stick and your plunger piece and then you're going to push this inside your plunger. It shouldn't go too far because at the nodes the wood um, the pith section tends to constrict so it shouldn't go through and then just test that it goes through your longer piece easily so mine moves through it easily like that there we are once you've got your plunger working so you can see oh that's come out you can always put a bit of glue in there once you've got your plunger working we want to cut this piece so that it is the length of our the end of our um, spud gun so I'm just going to use the secateurs and cut that piece off and I'm going to glue that to make it a bit more secure. The next thing we're going to do is whittle a point on the end of our spud gun. So remember always whittling away from your body and um, you've got to be careful with this bit because elder, depending on the piece that you have, has quite a thin bit of bark before you get to the soft pith. Um, so we're trying to whittle a point into this bit. If you go too far, you'll start to see the soft pith. So you've got to be quite careful. So I'm just gonna see if I can make this bit a bit more pointed. This will help us to be able to cut our potato. So as you can see, we've aimed to get that going quite small and narrow at the end so that it will be able to cut through the raw potato. Cut about a centimetre thickness of potato and use your spud or pop gun to push and cut a piece of potato like so. And then you're going to use the end of your um, 
stick to push that in and that's going to become a sort of plug within your gun and then you're going to do it again this time this piece is going to stay and it's ready to fire time to try it out so to make these work you need to hold your spud gun by the barrel the long piece and you need to slam your other hand into the end. Let's see if it works. Here we go. <laughs> oh! I, I didn't even push it that hard. Okay. Oi! Here we go, round two. Oh, I made a pop sound. Excellent. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> you can also experiment with different lengths of your uh, main tube of your pop gun, see if it makes a difference to how far it goes. Here we go, one, two, three. We've had lots of fun making our spud guns this afternoon. Another thing you can have fun playing with, you can also experiment with the different lengths of the tube, different size pieces inside, just to see how far you can make it go. You can compete with your family. If you've enjoyed our videos, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, Forever Green Forest School. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notifications when we upload new content. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.